what leads a friend to uh, speak on the important part of it and the rest of the thing we may meditate next week. Part by part we can meditate. Let's turn to Luke's uh, Gospel chapter 21 and verse 36. Luke's Gospel 21 and 36. Watch therefore, watch therefore, and pray always, and pray always, that you may be counted worthy, that you may be counted worthy, to escape all these things, to escape all these things, that will come to pass, that will come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man, and to stand before the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Here the Lord says, watch. Then he says, pray always. Two. Then he says, you should be counted worthy. Three. And then he says, you should escape all these things. Four. And then you should be able to stand before the Son of Man. So if you meditate all these five, I think we may not have time. So the Lord says, watch therefore and pray always. For what? He says that. He says that if you go to the previous verse, try he says, for, uh, it. Yeah, for it will come as a snare. Yeah. On all those yeah. who dwell on the face of, of the whole earth. Yes, it will for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the earth. What will come? If you read again, we go to the previous verse. Step by step, I'm just showing you to make, to make it easy to understand. The Lord says, Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with kerosene, drunkenness, cares of this life, and that day come on you unexpectedly. Hallelujah. That day come upon you. Which day? That day will come upon you unexpectedly. It will come, that day will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. That day will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Which day? Which day is it? Verse 27. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. Yeah, then, then, then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Then, then they will see. When? You should ask. Everybody will see the Son of Man coming in the now with power and great glory. Then when? So holding on to this verse, people argue that there is no rapture at all. There is only open coming, second coming of Jesus. When they will see? Then only if you see uh, from verse 7 onwards, the disciples were asking Jesus about the end day sign. So he starts with the first sign. Verse 8, he says, take heed that you not be deceived. The first sign is itself is deception. <coughs> Hallelujah. That's what is going on. Very, uh, what was it? Deception is not in the world, but in the Christian world. I see one common thing among all these people. They say it's only the, only believe in Jesus. That is what is essential. That's what is required. Believe, believe. Faith on Jesus. They, they emphasis on more on faith. That is, you can be however you can be, but only thing is you need faith on Jesus. That's all sufficient to be a Christian. It took, took so much of time. And no stuff at all. They just entertainment, like entertaining people, making them laugh and you know, making them feel good and making them feel happy. Feeling so many. I was so shocked and upset and sad. Oh, if this is going to be the state of the church, Christian church, what will happen when the Lord comes? So this person was saying like, you know, how did uh, Rahab uh, got saved? By faith. And he says, did she not continue her business after faith? <laughs> the harlot. See the presumptuousness, my God, uh, Jesus came, uh, you know, to deliver people from sin, to make a royal priesthood, holy nation. Holiness is possible, that's what we are trying to emphasize and that's what we are trying to even I want. The Lord says, the first thing is deception and then uh, when, when people
people are deceived. Hallelujah. That's how um, in Second Thessalonians we read, before the son of perdition, the man of sin appears, many falling away will happen. Hallelujah. Because of the deception only, even in the same chapter, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 10, because they lost the love for the truth, Hallelujah, glory to God. God Himself will keep them over to believe the lie. Hallelujah. To believe the lie because God Himself will send a strong delusion, strong deception that people may believe the lie so that He will be able to condemn them. In the day of judgment, they will be condemned by their own deeds. Hallelujah. We only follow Jesus' teachings. Hallelujah. My yoke is easy, the Lord says. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. If we go on our own way, try to live Christian life in our own way, then only all this confusion. Hallelujah. Oh, according to the principle, doctrines, teachings of Jesus, if we go, it is not a tall figure. Hallelujah. It will be so interesting. It will be so much in line with God's mind. Hallelujah. We will not go out of the way at all. So deception and then if if not, if people are not deceived, if you're they're not if they're not going to give in to deception, if they're going to stand for the truth, then comes persecution. Hallelujah. Troubles, difficulties, tribulations, sufferings. All these things will come. And then all these in, in the world wise, nations, war, wars and other things will come. And then uh, if you read verse 11, earthquakes, famines, pestilences and fearful signs, great signs from heaven, and all these things, last days signs the Lord tells. Hallelujah, glory to God. And then also about the persecution, he says in the same uh, chapter, verse 15, uh, verse, verse 16, you will be betrayed even by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But not a hair of your head shall be lost, for your patience possess your soul. So, hallelujah, glory to God. If we are hated by all for his name's sake, we are on the right <laughs> path. If the world, uh, because the world hates the people who are of Christ, hallelujah. If you are of the world, the world will not hate you, the Lord says. If you are not, if, if you are, if you are of the world, the world will not hate you. If you are, uh, if you are not of the world, then definitely the world will hate you. In uh, John's Gospel, 15 chapter, you can read all those things. But if you see, I don't see any Christian in trouble at all. <laughs> all are pals with the world. <laughs> they are so friendly with the world, that worldly system, worldly people. So they don't have trouble at all. They don't have any sufferings, any any afflictions, any. All are welcomed by the worldly people, worldly system, no trouble at all. For me, the moment the day I got saved, the only oppositions and uh, what to say, hatred and all kinds of uh, things only have been facing. Even in the world, mm -hmm. in the job, worldly job, we will be loving and we will be faithful, we will be sincere only. But uh, because we are not of the world, the spirit of the world will provoke people to be angry with us, to be to hate us, and to do uh, even till date. Even if I keep on planting my house, somebody will the spirit of hatred towards me will enter into the people and they destroy the plant. I be printing the pots and you know everything I kept uh, all old pots and all you know all, even with all of a sudden it came. Some three years back, we painted the house with red and green, red color, and you know, all that. That paint was there, and they were wanting to throw those boxes, but it was still there. And I said, Let me try painting the box. It became so beautiful and new. Even that, uh, somebody stole two pots. <laughs> and then plants, they just pour hot water or water, I don't know, they just die. And all these things, and then I got so angry, and I just wanted to. But that immediately I said, No, 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 the spirit that is against me. It is entering into people and doing all these harmful things. Lord, better for that sake, forgive them and bring them to the senses that they will be saved. Lord, may we pray like that. So, like that, you know, every inch by inch, we will be in trouble if you are sincere and genuine child of God. But we should not be bothered about all those things. It should not affect us at all. 
and so these are the things these will, this the lord is speaking about the seven years great tribulation but even now many times we used to speak as if we are in the antichrist period we are facing every day the trouble and even now in matthew's gospel chapter 24 the lord clearly speaks about the great tribulation it's clearly like mentioned and written over there please turn with me to matthew's gospel chapter uh, 24 the 21 please see but matthew for then there will be great tribulation yes for then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world yes yeah, such as such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time until this time no no nor ever shall be no nor ever shall be that is why it's called great tribulation Hallelujah. Great tribulation which many people think, oh, Antichrist will come and, you know, he will afflict the children of God. No, no, no. The great tribulation is, God will send forth his wrath upon this earth. Hallelujah. That during the period of Antichrist, the man of sin, the son of perdition, uh, the abomination. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, the Lord said, there will be great tribulation that never had it happened from the beginning since the beginning of the world even until this time and after that seventh great tribulation it is not going to happen that's the only great and great tribulation that's going to come upon this whole world that's what we read in Luke's gospel 21 that they will come upon the earth as a snare upon all men snare all will be caught upon caught into the snare so where are we in this? Hallelujah. Uh, if you read in the 24th chapter only, Hallelujah, glory to God, no, never shall be 22. And unless those days were shortened, and unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. No flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, yes, but for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Those days will be shortened. Unless those days were shortened, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, there is some hope for some group of people. The elect's sake will be shortened. I spoke on this one sometime back. Uh, to escape the great tribulation, what should you do? You should be an elect of God. And what should you do to be an elect of God? When, when, when we are elected, selected, I have chosen you in the furnace of tribulation, the Lord says. So when we are put into tests and trials, we, fall, we should yield. All that we have to do is, hallelujah, many people run away from the tests and trials. Many people lose their faith. Many people question God, doubt God. That's how falling away happens. But in the tests and trials only, we are being tested and tried and elected. Hallelujah for God. Amen. We have to remain faithful till then. Amen. We know, we heard and we've seen about Job. We've heard about Job and his afflictions. Nothing of that sort is going to come upon us. So how we remain faithful till the end? We have to learn of all those things. Days will be shortened. And hallelujah, glory to God. We'll come back to Luke's Gospel 21 and 36. There the Lord says, so, hallelujah. If you read the, throughout the thing and how... Um, uh, after the uh, afflictions and all that, the Lord speaks about the destruction of Jerusalem. Hallelujah, glory to God. And then, now, uh, verse 25 says, Signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, and on the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves rolling. All this we read in Revelation chapter 6, and uh, uh, the, uh, the seven seals we read, right? When the first seal is broken, <coughs> and then the white horse, I was telling when the ISIS was prevalent, I was saying the first horse, this is the white horse, I think, <laughs> happening now. He was just gaining, right? Um, so, first seal, I think, is broken. And then the second horse, and it, and then the sixth seal only, I think, the third, uh, the sun uh, will be darkened, and the, uh, the moon will become red, blood, and all that, the sixth seal. So, hallelujah, glory to God. All of these things are happening. And uh, the seven trumpets, 
they are, uh, they say, the, 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 the fury, the wrath of Son of God. Hallelujah. This way poured upon the earth. And the seven during the seven trumpets. And then the seven vials, this, the wrath of God the Father is being poured upon the earth. Hallelujah. And after all these things only, Hallelujah, glory to God, what happens? Um, and verse 26, the word of God says, For oh, these things are happening, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heavens will be shaken. Hallelujah. Then after that seven years period, end of that seven years period only, then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Hallelujah. Then the Son of Man will be coming in the cloud with power and great glory. After the seven years period, after the Antichrist period, after the, uh, uh, Jesus said the great tribulation period, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, will appear and all will see. Hallelujah. And now, the Lord says, verse 28, Now when these things begin to happen, when these things, all these things, whatever I have told you, the Lord says, when these things begin to happen, already now in our days, it's already started. Hallelujah. When these things begin to happen, look up, lift up. Look up, lift up. That's what the enemy says. Don't look up, lift up, but look down. <laughs> Stoop down. Please be uh, involve yourself in the earthly matters. Don't bother about heavenly matters at all. That's why God says, when the Son of Man is in the days of Noah, so will be, will it be the, day, the days of Son of Man. As in the days of Lord, so will it be the days of Son of Man. We don't have time, that's why I'm rushing. So what did they do in the days of Noah and the Lord? They were they eating and married. drinking and they were giving in marriage, yes. getting in marriage, they were doing business, they were building and they were all these things. Is it wrong? They were, it's wrong. Nothing of any sin is mentioned over there. That means they were so much involved and entered in earthly affairs that they were not, hallelujah, going to court uh, or involving in heavenly matters or they are not able to lift up themselves towards heaven. Hallelujah. They are so much burdened about, burdened and you know, totally, hallelujah, immersed in worldly affairs. That's what is happening. Everywhere you tell them, just hear about any message on kingdom of God or any message on uh, the coming of the Lord, any message on preparation of the children of God for His coming. You don't hear. Uh, many, I, I, I was thanking and blessing God for certain people in uh, uh, you know, other countries, they are trying to put some videos, they are, you know, they are trying to do something about the coming of the Lord. They are really working hard. But the Lord says, when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads. So seek not those things which are on the earth, but things above, where Christ sits at the right hand of the Father, Colossians 3, 1. Not the things of the earth, but things of above. Well, so let's look up. So our spirit, look up with spirit. You should always keep looking up and lift up your heads. Our spirit's head should always lift up, not be bowed down by the burdens. Care. That's what we are going to be seeing. So we saw also. And lift up your head because your redemption draws near. What redemption is this? I've been already already redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Uh, the Romans 8 chapter, it speaks about the redemption of the body, the rapture. Hallelujah. Look up and lift up, your redemption is near. Your redemption of body, of your body. So how much have we have to get this body, get ready? Get ready, get ready. People will put on new clothes and say, special clothes and they know full makeup or whatever. They get ready to go out. But here we have to get ready so that, so that our spirit should be dominating and our, our vessel, the body, should be subjected to the spirit. Hallelujah! As the rocket, rocket is the body. It means what? Fuel. The rocket that will not go into the space without the fuel. The spirit, the spirit along with the Holy Spirit should be powerful. Only then the vessel can go upward. Hallelujah! 
So, hallelujah, glory to God. That's how we have to lift up our heads and uh, look up and lift up our heads. Our redemption draws near. And what do we do? Redemption, the redemption of the body. And then, that's why the Lord cautions his children, saying that, take it to yourself, let's list 34, your heart be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness and cares of this life. Your hearts be weighed down that you would not be able to look up and lift up. Hallelujah. So casting it, we are in the world. What do you say? Yes, all your cares and burdens cast upon him. Don't be praying and crying for those burdens of this world. Just cast upon him the burdens of your cares and you get yourself prepared and ready for this. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah, glory to God. Don't let not the enemy try to trouble us, worry us with all this worldly cares. No. Hallelujah, glory to God. Lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, eating, more eating, I mean, extravagance, drunkenness. Drunkenness, I told you. And the cares of drunkenness is all kinds of filth and all kinds of the hard life having a cold cup with a revelation and making the whole world run with an abomination. So cares of this life, all this and cares of this life that you have heard, harsh not be weighed down and that day come on you unexpectedly. Hallelujah! This is what is happening, don't you uh, think that it's happening? Every Christian, they are totally, uh, well, I mean, enjoy Christian life like swing and dance and worship and this and do, doing all other things <laughs> in the name of, you know, Christianity but not getting very so sad. And for it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. And now the Lord says, watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy. So our special and only prayer, the Lord says, is this. Pray always for what? That we should be counted worthy. To escape all these things. We need to escape all these things. Hallelujah. See how we need to really uh, understand the seriousness, the danger, hallelujah, that are ahead. Oh, hallelujah, if you are not going to really work in this way, watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape. We need to escape. Hallelujah. Uh, First Corinthians 10, 13, we know like, uh, all the, 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 the tests, the temptations that every man look in, but God will have a way of escape, even in day to day. But even in this, God has a way of escape. Hallelujah. But how? Oh, by, by being watchful and praying always, we have the way of escape from all these things that are going to come upon this earth. Amen. So now, uh, I would like to uh, add to stand before the Son of Man. So, we saw, now I'm here I would like to mention this. Verse 27 we saw, then they will see the Son of Man coming in the cloud. cloud. With power and great glory. The open coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. But why should God say, what should Jesus say, what, 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 what the Lord say, watch therefore and pray always that you be counted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before, escape all these things. Because after this great tribulation only, the Son of Man is appearing. Our eyes will be seeing Him with great glory and power. So all this great tribulation you have to escape, the Lord says. For which you have to pray. Hallelujah. Watch and pray. So that you will be able to stand before the Son of Man. What is this? Hallelujah. After the tribulation only, can you get quick one? After the great tribulation only, he comes to the clouds. All old world, all the eyes will see him with their eyes. Hopefully he's going to come in and bring in judgment upon this world, Antichrist and the false prophet and the dragon, great dragon, the old serpent. So, to all this wrath during this tribulation, for Alex's sake, these days will be shortened. That's what made me think, okay, shortened means every year's period. So, first three years of period, but in between you might come. That's my own version. I'm not telling anybody says. 
So whatever it is, we need to instead of you know arguing only open comment the other day, our first was saying one pro there's no rapture at all. Uh, only open coming of the Lord. Church will definitely go into will definitely go into tribulation. Church will definitely if it is going to be in this state will all <laughs> will it not go into tribulation. <laughs> Hallelujah, it will go into severe tribulation. If it is not going to be prepared, it has to go into tribulation only. So those who, um, those who the Lord wants to uh, take them in the rapture, He reveals the secret to them, get them uh, and they takes them in the rapture. And those who God wants them to be in the second coming, open coming, He doesn't reveal it <laughs> to, to them. So let them be there. They don't have the revelation, they don't have that uh, insight. So they are not getting prepared. So only for Alex's sake, he says, those days will be short. So if you believe, you and I believe, let's get prepared and get ready for that. Hallelujah. So let's work on it. Let's work on it. That's very, very important. What, how do we work? Watch and pray always. Watch. Be watchful. That's what we lack. Uh, you know, we more like, you know, uh, what to say, there are lots of deceptions in the form of Christianity, in the form of ministers of God, in the form of, uh, you know, preaching, teaching, all these things. So, we need to be all the more careful. Uh, so, watch therefore, Matthew's Gospel 25 and 13, if you read. Right? Yeah. Matthew's Gospel 25 and 13. Watch therefore. For you know neither the day nor the hour. Uh, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Yeah. Why? What should we do? We do not. We do not know the day or the even the hour. <laughs> so every hour, any day, every hour, we have to keep singing with it. Oh, precious God, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. So what's therefore for you know for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Even in 24:42, what's therefore for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. Hallelujah. And Mark's gospel chapter 13 and uh, verse 33, right? Please Take heed, take heed, watch and pray, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. Yes, watch and take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. So the Lord says, watch therefore and pray always means we do not know the, uh, we do not know the day, we do not know the hour, we do not know the time. Hallelujah. Any time he may come, any moment he may come. So we have to keep ourselves. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Be watchful. Uh, so watch. Watch means like we have to be cautious. Uh, 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 and then, um, if you read in the First Thessalonians chapter five, you will you will understand that. Uh, you know, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse five and six. Please. You are all the sons of light. You are all the sons of light. And sons of the day. And sons of the day, we are not the night. Nor we are not of the night. Nor of darkness. Nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. Therefore, let us not sleep. As others do. And as others do. But let us watch. Let us watch. And be sober. And be sober. What is this watchfulness? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are the sons of light, sons of the day. We are not of night and darkness. Let us not sleep as others do. Uh, what are the others doing? Sleeping. Spiritual slumber. Hallelujah. They are not aware. They are ignorant. Hallelujah. They are ignorant about the Lord's coming. So, oh, why others are sleeping? Let all those, what, what, what does he say? Uh, for therefore, let us not sleep as others do. Sleep means it's not physical, hallelujah, natural. It is spiritual. They are putting off the spirit to sleep. The spirit is not at work, hallelujah. The spirit is not getting ready. The spirit is not fervent. The spirit is not on fire, hallelujah. The spirit is quenched off. 
So, hallelujah, let us not sleep as others do. Why do they sleep? Why do they sleep? The previous verse. We are not of night or darkness. People of dark, when do they sleep? In the night and in the darkness only. Normally, physically, naturally, people sleep in the night and when it is dark. So, we are not of night, we are not of darkness. So, spiritual sleep also, when people are in darkness, when people are in the night, that's when people are so careless, people are negligent or ignorant or they are, they are slothful, they are, they are what to say, they are, uh, they are, the spirit is put off. But we are not, we are not sons of light and of the day. Hallelujah. If you want to make it more clear, let's go to uh, Romans 13th chapter. The last few verses if you read. Verse 11. When I was a child. No, uh, the Romans 13. And do this. And do this. Knowing the time. Knowing the time. Mm. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yeah, in those days itself, Apostle Paul is saying, it is high time to awake out of sleep, knowing the time. Even now, we are living in those days, even now people do not know the time. Hallelujah. Knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than we first believed. Oh, now our salvation, as I told you, the first belief, the first belief, salvation has its steps. Hallelujah. Completion of salvation is when the Christ returns. He comes back without sin to give the salvation to people who are waiting upon, waiting for Him. Last salvation. Final salvation. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Yes, the day is at hand. Therefore, therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness. Yes, let us cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Amen. We are children of light, so let us cast off the works of darkness. What do we have to analyze? We have to search and through and through, through and through our light. Where there is there any darkness in me? Hallelujah. And we have to throw off all, throw out all those darkness out of our lives and we have to put on the armor of light. What is that? Verse 13. Let us walk properly. Uh, let us walk day. properly as in the day. Not in revelry. Not in revelry. And drunkenness. Oh, see, if you see the Christians are only revelry means like a jolly, very big. If you see the Facebook, they are enjoying their life, putting this video and that video, just can't they call the people who go speak over to them over the phone? Why do speak over the web? Or worldly person is calling chatting. So, see the revelry, they are just enjoying, you know, like putting time pass, it has become Facebook and this WhatsApp. So, they are mad, like, you know, to say, you know, another WhatsApp. Yeah, that, uh, it says, like, you know, you, you should not say, like, it, it's speaking about energy. I was not much very clear about it. As I was reading, some darkness was entering. I felt that some darkness in the cleaning itself. Then he was saying, uh, you should not say, I don't want war. Then that means you have war in your mind, about thinking about war in your mind. What you should say, you have to say in this way, that I want peace. You don't want war, I want peace. So, it is uh, so energy and vibration. Okay, this I have heard somewhere, like energy and vibration. Then only I came to know, that then I remember that there another person, they say that technologically speaking, they see all this engineers coming into the ministry, taking our lives out. Technologically speaking, so they speak about energy, they speak about uh, vibrations, all this if you see in yoga, they speak about vibration, they speak about uh, energy and they speak about something else. And what is behind yoga? What's, what's the spirit operating? Serpent, spirit of serpent, the old serpent, the darkness enters people. 
that that man had sent it in the WhatsApp. I said no. I said and see, please do not. Uh, I sent a reply saying that please don't send it, circulate this message. I appreciate your circulating good things, then I I try to forward it to people. But then this is of this uh, cult, cult, cult group people, they are cultic people, they are sending all this. This is not from the Lord, there is no mention about God and there is energy, this vibration, these are of antichrist spirit, they are sending like this. So even that we have to be careful because when I was reading I could feel the darkness attacking me. After the I realized what is wrong in this person, then I noticed all this. Then I sent him back. They are so innocent, they want somebody sending, then they are trying to forward. Oh, it's nice, forward to everybody. Even in that we have to be very careful. So, revelry, drunkenness, as I told you, not in lowness and lust, not in strife and envy. Already I told you two type groups of uh, spirits, I can divide to evil spirits and uh, unclean spirits. So, uh, or either evil character or uh, unclean character. These two ways only the enemy can attack. Those, in these two areas we have to be watchful and keep ourselves upright before God. So, hallelujah, glory to God. Not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And make no provision for flesh to fulfill its lusts. Hallelujah, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we need to do. Hallelujah. Our old man, day by day, we have to remove from within ourselves and throw it out according to Ephesians 4.22. We do not have time. The old man grows corrupt, right? Um, and then um, uh, in his own uh, deceit, deceitful lust. And so what you should do, you should be renewed in the spirit of your mind and put on the new man, which is according to God in uh, true righteousness and holiness. Hallelujah. So we have to put on our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I want to put you on like a cloth. I clothe myself with my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Day you say this in your spirit. Day you put on the clothes of the Lord Jesus Christ. Day you clothe yourself with your Lord Jesus Christ. Right? So we have to, then and then like this, then if you only allow the Holy Spirit, He will teach you how to pray and how, how, what to pray and all that. We have to free, be free to Father because we keep ourselves occupied with listening to too many messages and those messages only keep occupied. We have to have personal. Hallelujah. Uh, interactions with God so that Holy Spirit will lead us. Put on the Lord. So, works of darkness, throw them out. In Ephesians 5th chapter also it speaks about children of light, children of darkness. So, do not yield to the unfruitful works of darkness, let us say. Rather, reprove them. Hallelujah. Don't yield. Whatever darkness comes, don't yield to them. Instead, instantaneously rebuke them. Hallelujah. Immediately, the very moment you feel the darkness, the very moment you feel the words of darkness coming in, trying to come creep into your life, rebuke it in Jesus' name. Resist it. Immediately, immediately, cast them off so that they don't come and take ground. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. And whatever, whatever you feel the darkness, bring it out and show it out to God. Whatever is brought to light, hallelujah, whatever is exposed, to God has become light. Hallelujah. When we only expose yourself to God, then darkness cannot hide in you. Hallelujah. It has to become light. Amen. So when we are children of light, or when we come to 1 Thessalonians 5th chapter, when we, when we are children of light, then, hallelujah, glory to God. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sore. When we are light only, we will be watchful. Hallelujah. And we will be sober. Sober with clarity, dear spirit. There will be confusion in us. Hallelujah. There will be a spirit to not be a troubled spirit, but a sober spirit. A clear mind, a clear spirit. Hallelujah. So the more you are in light, the more you have the clarity. Hallelujah. The more the darkness, the more confusion. So, hallelujah, glory to God per se. But let us who are of the day be sober. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love and as a helmet the hope of salvation. God did not appoint us to wrath. Amen. That is the great revelation. But to upon obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us that whether we wake or sleep we should live together with him. Hallelujah. 
So we have to understand all these things and um, be watchful. We saw there are so many other things also. Let's count the looks, Gospel 21 and 36. We will uh, try to finish it. So watch therefore and pray always. So like that we have to fill ourselves with light and we have to be children of light, um, the children of the day and never give room for any kind of darkness, evil or unclean things and uh, pray always. Amen. Always. Pray for uh, even in First Thessalonians, same First Thessalonians chapter five. Hallelujah, glory to God. What does it say in the last? Um, pray, verse seventeen. Pray without ceasing. Mm. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Hallelujah. So, pray without ceasing. Without ceasing, without interruption. But we will always say, Lord, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> sorry for the interruption. I think before and all in two questions it will come, right? Sorry for the interruption. I don't know now what they put uh, when we were seeing all this. So, like that, we always have interruptions. <laughs> Continuous, what does it mean? Pray without ceasing or pray always means constant connection with the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Continual connection with the kingdom of God. Continual power supply we need for our world, for house, but not for our spirit. <laughs> power supply, you know, if the power goes totally inverted, if not possible, get on generate. <laughs> or something else or other, we generate power. <laughs> hallelujah. So, we will finish it. So, hallelujah, glory to God. So, what do we do? We have to get the power supply constant. And that's why we need the prayer as the connection with, between us and the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And we have to pray in the spirit according to James, um, uh, sorry, Jude, the first chapter. Pray the Holy Spirit, the power of God. So we are get connected, we get connected with the kingdom of God and then hallelujah, glory to God. If we are constantly under the connection, the connection with the kingdom of God with God, then automatically you are getting prepared. That's why pray always. Pray always. Amen. Therefore, watch and pray always. Hallelujah. And uh, that you may be counted worthy. So when you keep connection, when you keep your connection with the kingdom of God, automatically the essence from the kingdom of God will keep filling your life. The qualities of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Automatically, and it will make you become worthy. Hallelujah. The more you are connected, the more the more you are connected to the world, the more the spirit of the world only will be opened. The, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Hallelujah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, the Lord Jesus says, and all these things shall be added to you. So our aim is, even Abraham, though he was in this world, he compared himself stranger and pilgrim, and he was looking for the better country, the heavenly country. Hallelujah. Likewise, we need to learn from Abraham and even Moses. Uh, he looked for the reward that was to come. So, what did he do? He, he, he what did he do? He refused to be called uh, to be called Pharaoh's daughter's son, and uh, and uh, he chose to suffer with the children of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. Uh, the constant connection with the kingdom of God brings the quality of the kingdom of God in us. Kingdom of God is in you. The Lord says in Luke's Gospel, chapter twelve. So we have to bring the kingdom of God in us and that's why we need to pray always. Jesus also when he was a son of man on this earth, he was constantly keeping uh, his con connection with God the Father. Early morning he prayed, throughout the night he prayed, when only he slept we you know. I think whenever the, uh, the disciples were on their own, rowing the boat, that's when I think he said, let me, they have given me this, let me take rest. That's whenever I'm in trouble, then I'm calling. That's what we do. So like that we should not do. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things and that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That means, hallelujah, when the Son of Man comes openly, then we need not go and stand before Him. It is He's coming in the First Thessalonians chapter 4, we'll finish with that. First Thessalonians chapter 4, the last few verses if you read. Hallelujah, glory to God. Heaven. Yeah, for the Lord Himself will descend from heaven with a shout. With a shout. 
with the voice of an archangel yeah, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of god and with the trumpet of god and the dead in christ will rise first yes the dead in christ will rise first then we who are alive and then remain then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together shall be caught up together caught up is the meaning uh, that uh, Caught up together with them in the clouds, in the where clouds to meet the Lord in the air. To meet, we are going to meet Him. There He is second coming. He is going to come. Hallelujah. Here in the rapture, we are going to meet Him. We are going forward. Even the ten virgins, they were going forward to meet the bridegroom. Hallelujah. So meet Him in the mid air, in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. So meet Him in the air, and even First Corinthians 15 chapter, we will all be changed in a moment's time, in the twinkling of an eye's time. Hallelujah! So this is the rapture. This is the open coming. Uh, so people, unfortunately, keep on giving it. Let us pray always. Oh, hallelujah! Uh, watch and pray always that we may be, be able to count it worthy to escape all these things uh, and to stand before, hallelujah, the Son of Man. Hallelujah. Uh, praise be to God. Shall we close our eyes and look to God in prayers?